Well, there was a lot of shock. I think, it, you know, there was surprise. You know, guys weren't really, you know, I, I think everybody was kind of blindsided by the trade. Everybody, you know, Paul included. I think everybody's like, whoa, you know. Um, but, you know, and, and I, we had an opportunity. If we need a midfielder, why not go with the best one? You know, like, I mean, that was just kind of the mentality we went with. And, uh, you know, I could tell you this, that, you know, I sent an email out introducing, you know, announcing the trade to the team with Paul and uh, Stoney on there. And, uh, and the feedback from the team was, was awesome. Um, guys going back and forth with emails and, uh, and great communication already. So a lot of the talk is going on already. Um, you know, and then, you know, Paul hopped back, sent a great email. So there's, there's already, a lot of these guys know each other. There's mutual respect around the league. Um, that's one thing that's different about our game than, than other professional sports is, is, uh, you know, the camaraderie, you know, within the players and, and the way the guys all kind of know each other. So, um, you know, I think when the shock wore off, there was crazy excitement and people pumped up my assistant coaches. I could tell you, and you know, Chris, like I'm really involved with, uh, you know, a lot with the youth lacrosse with my, my own kids and my boys and my, and my daughter. And, uh, you know, we've gotten inundated with phone calls and emails and, e and text messages, just people, total excitement, you know, in the New York metropolitan area about, um, about bringing this type of player to New York and, uh, and the impact it's going to have at the gate with merchandise and more importantly for me as a coach and general manager is on the field.